Welcome to MacGyver's Workshop, where you never know what we're going to be working on next. If you're not too careful, you just might learn something. Hi there. Welcome back to another episode of MacGyver's Workshop, where you never know what we're going to be working on next. And if you're not too careful, you just might learn something. So, as we're moving along here on our uh, restoration of Old Blue, we're going to start uh, tearing stuff apart. We've cut the exhaust system out in the last uh, video and I covered some perspective uh, on what you can expect to get into and some things that uh, you should consider uh, having before you even begin to get started on a project like this. Um, I've got it in the same playlist as this video. so. Uh, you can follow along our progress because this is going to be a long project. So uh, basically what we're going to do is uh, started by using my uh, little Canon uh, T7i and I'm going around and uh, taking some uh, high res close up photos of everything so we know how everything looked originally and we want to try and replicate that as much as possible. Um, I know it's kind of got that goofy hitch on it and stuff like that. And, you know, we're, what we're going for here is to kind of put it back the way it was uh, for sentimental value and yet still make it a usable daily. Uh, my friends, they have a big horse farm. This little truck can be really handy, four wheel drive, easy to get in and out of everywhere. And, uh, you know, you can still maybe, uh, you know, tow, tow a, a piece of equipment around the farm or even, you know, bale of hay or something. So uh, we'll uh, carry on with that. And as I said, I've taken some high res photos all around the back of the truck uh, where I'm going to be working. I identified some. Uh, damage on uh, the fiberglass fenders which we're gonna have to fix uh, that'll be a topic of uh, another video Uh, right now at this point we're in the disassembly phase so today we're going to work on getting those two fiberglass fenders off which is going to be a real challenge because this being a Pennsylvania truck everything is just rust so um, the problem with it is is the bolts that hold those fenders on are not just typical bolts uh, they're kind of made into the sidewall of the bed they're pressed in and then you got the little studs sticking out and you put your nuts down over top. So we've been real careful to soak them down in penetrating oil in the hopes that uh, they'll come off without too much fuss because it's a fiberglass fender. We can't get in there with heat, uh, you know, like a torch or whatever to get those nuts off. So all we can do is cross our fingers and hope for the best. So. Well, now we're going to get started. I'm going to tear those fenders off. Wish me luck. So, 
we're gonna have to cut a bunch of those uh, nuts off of that inner fender <clears throat> to be able to get that fender off so you could use either like a nut splitting tool um, which is really not going to work in our case because we can't get up flush enough to get uh, the tool on there to where you can tighten it down and, and uh, split the nut in half basically. Uh, I'll post a picture of one of them here. So what I'm going to end up having to do is use a little Dremel tool. Uh, now, if you use the cutting kit or wheel that comes with the kit, uh, that's really all that's going to do is, is piss you off because it's really not intended for that heavy duty of work. And the disc is so thin, you just spin out the center hole on the, the arbor and it really just doesn't work. So what they do make though, and of course it's an additional cost, you have to go and buy it, but they make this kit, which is uh, got a kind of like a locking hub in the center of the cutting wheel, and it works much better in a situation like that. All right. Remember, always wear your safety glasses. That little disc is whizzing around pretty quick, so you don't want it flying apart and hitting you in the face. And we're going to be working on these right here. And let's see, we can't zoom in just a wee bit. Give you a little better view of what's going on. There we go. Then we're gonna we'll start with this one and this one, and uh, we'll see see how well we do here. Somebody had tried to weld the back side of these on the bracket at some point in the past, but they didn't do a very good job of it. The weld didn't hold. It just spun off the spun off the the bolt. And these were like uh, shouldered. So they're flat on the back side. They don't have any kind of head you can get onto. Now this one here up front does. So that one won't be so bad. We'll be able to get on that one with a wrench and hold it. Now let's see how bad these ones across the top do. That's gonna be fun. For the most part, that penetrating oil worked out pretty well and I've only had those three in the front put up a super fight. The rest of these seem to be coming out okay which is good but this is why nobody likes working on a Yankee truck because you know, they just, the reason they call it the rust belt is that all the snow and the salt they put on the roads up there, the, uh, the vehicles just fall apart, so.
careful with these. You're not going to find these anywhere. But treat them very gently. Now you can see some of the rust damage that was all in behind that fender. And of course the, the wood bed. I guess at some point they just threw some plywood in there which is really the worst thing you can do because all that's going to do is hold the moisture and it just literally rusts as you can see it just rusts the bed out so I'm going to have a good bit of metal work on my hands to try and uh, recover from that but uh, hey that's what it's all about now we'll, uh, we'll clean up the rest of the stuff off of this side of the truck. We'll get the, the tail light off, that little step part up there, that comes off. And, uh, you know, get all that disassembled. And then we'll move over to the other side. Well, you never put plywood in the bed of a pickup truck. All it is is a giant rust magnet. You know, one good thing about restoring this type of bed is that the whole bed comes apart. So it's a lot easier than working on, say, a standard truck bed which is unitized and all welded together. Uh, now we'll get our now we'll get our last bolt out here to hold this thing. And in theory she should come off. Bit of metal work to do on on this bed but a lot of the parts aren't available for them anymore so we're gonna have to you know we're gonna have to uh, make a lot of the stuff but we're gonna make some improvements I think I'm gonna talk to the owner about instead of going back with the wood since this trucks gonna be out on the farm and outside all the time we'll see if I can talk them into letting me put a sheet metal bed in here and then we'll get the hole inside with uh, done with uh, rhino lining to keep it from rusting and then we'll undercoat the underside and uh, you know that'll protect it it'll outlast them if we do that so anyway let's get this over here out of the way to the burn pile. All right. So now you can see we got the one side of the bed off in the back here. And uh, we're basically just gonna repeat the same process on the other side. Get the other fender off, get the other bed side off. And then at that point, the front section will come off and uh, then we'll start 
pulling the center section out, but uh, that's boring. That's all, nothing fancy there. It's all rotten. It's all gonna be cut and taken out. And those rails that go across, those three rails and the front, those are all gonna be replaced. This back one's not available, uh, near as I can tell, so we'll have to fix it and uh, go from there. So I think that's enough for one video. So till next time, thanks for watching. And while we're kind of doing uh, resto stuff right now, make sure if you're into stuff that ain't stock, Make sure you check out my son's channel, uh, the ASAP Automotive channel. I'll link to it down in the description. And uh, he's always got some good stuff going on in his shop. So uh, make sure you check it out. Thanks. See you next time.